Hey friends! Uh, so it is 10 p.m. and I can't sleep. One, because Hunter's always awake, and two, because I'm trying to wrap my head around this distance learning. Um, it's a crazy world run right now, and in 50 years, it's going to be something that you get to tell your family about and that you lived through this. So I'm glad we're doing this because we're all going to stay safe. Um, but I miss seeing you guys, especially because I was just about to come back. Um, so I wanted to make a quick little video kind of going over what this is going to look like. And then every day you'll get a video from me, um, sometimes multiple videos. So I have my little cheat sheet down here. I'm going to look at I'm in Hunter's room right now because he's sleeping in his bassinet in my room and I'm not waking him up. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about uh, is that this is new for everyone. So not just us, not just Ellington, this is like worldwide, like this is new. So you're going to be learning alongside with me. So if things don't upload, if things don't download, if you don't have a printer, if you can't get something, we're just going to relax and try plan B and plan C and go with it. So have patience for me and I'm going to have patience for you and we're just going to go with it. Um, another thing, oh, Miss Sarity's texting me, 10 o'clock at night, guys. Um, I met with Miss Breen today, and she kind of went through things you're working on, and some things we just have to pause on. So I know you were working on literary essay, and you were in kind of like a book club, and you were going to write about it with a buddy. It's something we can't really do right now. One, because you're not with your buddy, and two, I don't have the resources. So we're going to pause on things. We're going to continue on with math, unit five, with reading. You were doing deeper character work. Um, social studies, we have some things we're going to continue on with primary sources. But some things are just going to get paused, and we kind of have to just roll with that. Other things, the format. So every day, you're going to log on to Google Classroom. There will be a new announcement with a link to a Google Doc that explains all your activities for the day. On that Google Doc, so all you have to do is go to Google Classroom. I will say, hey, Thursday, this day, click it open. You're going to click it open, and it's broken into boxes. Each box has a different activity or message or something you're supposed to do. So the first box, I'm looking down, will be your morning message for me. It will either be typed or a video that goes through kind of what your day is going to look like and things that are happening. After that, you have your grammar box. So the same format, you're going to look at the slides, you're going to open up your Patterns of Power Google Doc, and you're going to fill it in. You're only getting one rule a week. So that's going to stay the same. So if you decide Monday you don't want to do grammar, you want to save it for Wednesday or Friday, that's fine. But you'll see it there every day. But it's going to be one rule, so that's not going to change. Under that, book of the day. We're still going to do book of the day and it will be a video of either me or Mrs. Harity or we have some other people that are going to be guest readers reading you the book of the day. So enjoy that. Then you have spelling. Um, not sure where everyone left off. So I'm just posting where Mrs. Harity is and we're going to go with it. If you've done them, you're doing them again. If you didn't do them, perfect. Um, if you get words from Mrs. Devonier or Mrs. Scully or Mr. Michael, you'll eventually get words from them. So if you don't see the link for Mr. Michael's words or um, Miss Devonier's words, then you can do our words or you have permission to skip until you get yours because we're all still working to figure that out. For spelling, it will have daily activities that you can do in a Google Doc or in a notebook. All right, and then you'll see what Friday test is. Um, you have a science box that will have different activities, um, mystery science, worksheets, things like that. You'll have a social studies box that will have a different activity. Um, writing, math, reading, and all those are going to have teaching points, pictures for resources, what you're supposed to do, worksheets, videos. It's all going to be in those boxes. Um, with those, some things stay the same. So the reading box is going to be the same kind of work for every day. So you do have work to do, stop and jots to do every day, but it's not going to change. It will just be a different, um, different strategy you're going to pick. So make sure you read every box and think, you know, do I need to do this? Is this new learning? Did I already do this? Or do I have to do this again? 
there's a brain breaks and like a fun box of things. There's a lot of websites out there that are offering really cool and free resources for kids that have to stay home. Um, so I put some links in there. And then on Friday, you're going to have a Friday reflection. You'll go into Seesaw, seesaw.me, hit the plus sign, hit video, and then you're going to upload a video reflecting on your week. And I have questions in the box of you to kind of answer. Um, and then underneath that, you have a username, password, and links reminder. So just if you forget how to get on to Big Universe, it will be there to help you. Um, so everything's in those boxes. So as long as you go to Google Classroom every day, you'll have a new announcement. You'll click on it, and it will bring you to a Google Doc all set for your day. All right, where am I going from there? Expectations. So... We're treating this as school. This is a classroom. When you do your work, I expect it to be your best work. I want to see when you're typing capital letters and punctuation, the best spelling you can do. Um, if you have to comment on something, I want to see that you're commenting with um, appropriate words and phrases. If I post something, I don't need you to comment, hey, what's up? What are you doing? Smiley faces not the place to kind of just be silly and put things as much as I want to be silly and see you this isn't really gonna like work in certain areas so your Friday reflection when you do a video will be your time to show me around talk to me tell me a joke be silly and appropriate but when I comment or make announcement your comments should match that they shouldn't just be random things they're gonna get deleted and then after a while I'm gonna have to block your comments and you're gonna have extra work that goes around and it's just not gonna be good so I expect your comments to be intelligent because that's what you are, appropriate, and if it's not necessary, don't post it, please. When I say not necessary, I mean you don't need to put smiley faces, what's up, blah, 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 that stuff. And then lastly for now, um, you can contact me through email, through Seesaw, and then if we're having issues with communicating, like what I need to work with you on, if you need extra help, isn't working through just typing it out, we can do like FaceTime chats and um, I can call you. So when you're stuck, you have parents, you have siblings, you have the internet, you have your brain, you can take a rest and come back to it. Um, there will be resources for you to use. You can skip it for the day and go back. That's not a problem. Um, but... If you're stuck and you're like, I need Miss Thrifty to help me, you're going to shoot me an email or a seesaw message. And then from there, we'll work out what's the best way to communicate. I will have my computer on from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then after that, I'll be checking it randomly. But from 9 to 3, those are our school hours. I will be sitting by my computer for most of the day. Um, before that and after that, I'll be checking it randomly. So if you are stuck, do not freak out. Do not give mom a hard time. You do your best. Do send me messages and we'll work through it. Because like I said, this is new for everyone. So I hope, it's kind of long, I hope it uploads. Um, sitting in my jammies. I hope this kind of gives you an idea. I would love for you to share this with your family so that they kind of know what it's going to look like so then they can support you. And um, again, we're just going with it. We're going to see what it's like one day at a time um and we'll go from there and hopefully i'll see you guys before the year is up who knows but um let's enjoy this it's kind of a scary time um and i want everyone to stay safe and healthy so let's kind of have fun with this as much as we can so i will be posting your first announcements on monday by nine and we're gonna go from there so it is after 10 now. I should go to bed because my son's going to be up in a couple hours and I am going to be tired. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.